friends and welcome to Obsidian Soft. We used the dictionary blocks when we made the GPT voice assistant app but I didn't go into the details of the dictionary block as I thought that it would make the video too complicated for my viewers. Today I will explain the basic concept of a dictionary block. In MIT App Inventor, a dictionary block is a way to store and organize data in pairs called key value pairs. It is similar to a real life dictionary where you look up a word that is the key to find its meaning, that is the value. For example, let's say we want to store information about a person, such as their name, phone number, and city. In a dictionary, we can assign a unique key to each piece of information. So name can be the key for the person's name, phone number can be the key for his or her phone number, and city can be the key for his or her city. Using a dictionary block, we can create this collection of information and associate each key with its corresponding value. We can access or modify specific values by referring to their keys. And we can even store this dictionary in a database such as TinyDB or CloudDB. So you will also learn how to store multiple data or a record in the database in MIT App Inventor. Let's explain this concept practically using a very helpful app that you can use in your future project. In our scenario, we have a departmental store and we want to store data about our regular customers so that we can tell them about deals and offers. Basically, we want to make a customer record system and the customer data will include the name and just the phone number. We are keeping things very simple here. So let's have a look at the demo. Let's begin. Go to projects, start a new project. Let's call it customer data. Drag and drop from layout a vertical arrangement. Rename it to main screen layout. I'm again using the concept of virtual screens where I have two full screen layouts and I will be switching between them. So this will be the main screen layout and we will also have an update screen layout. Okay, so make a line horizontal center and a line vertical center and make height and width both fill parent. Now within this main screen layout, drag and drop a horizontal arrangement. Make a line horizontal center Align vertical center, make height 10% and the width is fill parent. Now within this arrangement, drag and drop from user interface a label. Rename it to name label, make font bold, font size 18. Width is 25% and the text on it says name colon, okay? Now drag and drop from user interface a text box right next to this label. Rename it to name txt, make font bold, font size 18, width here is 60% okay and the hint is enter name okay now select this horizontal arrangement and duplicate it by pressing ctrl c ctrl v on windows laptops or desktops and command c command v for macbook okay and i'm going to rename this name label to phone LBL, okay, and the text is phone colon, and this is phone text, and the hint is enter phone number, okay, and check this numbers only for this phone text box, okay. Now duplicate 
this horizontal arrangement and just remove these two components that is the label and the text. Okay, now drag and drop a button and put it inside this empty arrangement. Rename it to add button. Okay, and we can optionally give it a black background color and make font bold, font size 18 and the width is 35%. Shape is rounded and the text on it says add and the text color is white. Okay, now select this button and duplicate it and rename this add button to find button and change the text on it to find. Add a list view from user interface below this button arrangement and make the height 50%. Okay, now duplicate this arrangement with the buttons in it. So select it and duplicate it and drag this arrangement and put it below the list view, okay? And now we need to rename these buttons. So this is the reload button. And we have to change the text on it to reload. And this is the delete all button. So rename it and change the text on it. Okay, last but not the least, from storage, drag and drop a tiny DB, okay? Now we're done with our screen design, so let's go to the block section. First of all, we are going to make a global variable for a record, a customer record, that is actually an empty dictionary. So go to variables, initialize global variable, and we are going to call it record. And this is an empty dictionary, okay? And we also need another global variable, but this will be for a list, a list of records. So basically we will be maintaining a list which has dictionaries in it, okay? And this is an empty list, okay? Now, whenever someone presses the add button after providing some information in the name text and the phone text, we want to store it into our database. But first we have to convert it into a dictionary, okay? And put all the values inside this record. So when the add button is pressed or clicked, what we want to do is that we are going to set our global record to a dictionary. So go to dictionaries and get the make dictionary block. And inside here, a key is a text box with the string name in it. And the second key is the phone. And the value is the actual input provided by the user. So if I click on name text, I can get the text provided by the user. And if I just duplicate it, and choose phone text from here, okay? So I hope this is clear how we have constructed our dictionary, the first record. Then we will need to add this record to our list of records because remember, our customer data system will not be consisting of just one customer. We want to have multiple customers in it. So we want to make a list of dictionaries, okay? So go to lists and get the add item block and here our list is the list of records so get the getter for it and the item is our dictionary okay so get the getter for it the global record then we will need to store this data in our tiny db this list of records with the tag customer data so click on tiny db and get its store value procedure and here the tag go to text get the empty one and make a tag called customer data 
and what will be stored the list of records okay so this is how we are storing multiple data in the tiny db now we need a procedure for showing this customer data in our list view so whenever someone presses the add button it should show up in our list view what has been added okay so go to procedures and get the first type of procedure and let's call it update list view and what comes inside here first of all we are going to make a local variable okay not a global variable a local variable a local variable is a variable that can be used only in the place where it has been declared or created okay so it cannot be used anywhere else for example these are global variables they can be used anywhere inside this coding area but a local variable can only be used where it has been created so let's first of all initialize a local variable and we are going to call it list for showing data and we are going to assign it an empty list okay so i can use this local variable only within this area okay next thing is that i am going to go through my list of records okay because it might have more than one and i am going to construct my list for showing data okay so go to control and get the for each item in list block here i am going to provide it the global list of records okay and i'm going to add item to my list for showing data so go to lists and get the add items to list and get the getter for list for showing data and now this is the important part that i am going to construct a new item using the name and the phone number separated by a dash okay so this will be a way of showing the data the customer data in the list view to our user okay so i am going to go and get a join from text and i am going to add another one to it by clicking on the cog wheel and dragging a string item to the right hand side now what is the first thing so if i go to dictionary i can get the get value for key in dictionary block and here what is the key the key is the name so we can duplicate it from here so that there is no spelling mistake and what is the dictionary the dictionary is the item because remember each item in a list of records is actually a dictionary okay i can duplicate this one put it here and now this is phone okay so i'm making sure that there is no spelling mistake here okay so name and phone separated by a dash or a colon anything that you feel is appropriate so space dash space okay and last but not the least just below this for loop after the for loop finishes it finishes here and inside this list for showing data okay because it cannot be accessed outside here what we are going to do is we are going to set our list views elements so here make sure it's here and not outside and we are going to show it so let's see if i if i bring it here you can see that there's an error here because this is a local variable so it cannot be accessed outside this orange area okay it has to be inside but make sure that you don't put it completely inside because we want our for loop to finish constructing our list for showing data and then we will show it to the user okay so this is our update list view procedure so this procedure the update list view procedure should be called at the end of add button 2 so that we show the newly added item or record dictionary record to the user okay so if i click on procedures i can get the call block and call our procedure okay what next now we need to show the existing data in a list view when the app is started so get the screen once initialize event 
okay and we have to first of all load the data from our tiny db so get the setter and choose list of records here and tiny db click on it and call tiny db dot get value and here remember that the tag should be exactly the same as used when we were storing the data okay and value if tag is not there it should not be a, an empty text it should be a list because that is what is expected by our program and again we are going to call our update list view procedure now what happens when the user clicks the delete all button okay so this delete all button when he clicks it we want to delete all the customer records and also um, uh, empty a list view okay so if i click on tiny db i can get the clear all okay so clear this and we also want to empty our list of records so variables setter list of records and this is this is an empty list and also our list view so set list view elements to an empty list too okay so the basic app is done i will cover search records by name and updating and deleting of a single record as shown in the demo in the next class i hope you like this class do share it with your friends and family and if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly do so so that you don't miss any of the great projects i have planned for you thank you for watching my class have a good day and goodbye